Supersize Salon Star Jamie Lopez Dead at 37 Supersize Salon Star Jamie Lopez is dead at age 37. The Reality Stars company confirmed the news via social media on Monday, December 19. On behalf of the Baby Doll Beauty Couture team, we regretfully announced with great pain the passing of the founder and owner of Baby Doll Beauty Couture, the legendary Jamie Lopez, read an Instagram post from her team. The statement continued, We ask on behalf of the Baby Doll family that you allow us time to process this tremendous loss. Further details and arrangements will be announced soon. We have suffered an extraordinary loss and appreciate the time and space to grieve in peace. Please keep our Baby Doll family and team lifted in your hearts and prayers. We'd like to thank the staff and crew of Matador Content and WeTV for all their continuous support in this difficult time. Super Size Salon premiered on WeTV in late July. The seven episode first season followed the Las Vegas staff of the first beauty salon that caters to the plus size community, Baby Doll Beauty Couture. Owner Jamie Lopez created this unique space after experiencing a tremendous amount of discrimination in the beauty industry for being plus sized. WeTV explained in a synopsis for the series premiere, Along with Jamie, the women who work here are determined to make everyone look and feel beautiful no matter their size, but with their loud and diverse personalities, drama is always just around the corner. Her staff and Super Size Salon co-stars publicly mourned Lopez's death, sharing tributes via Instagram on Monday. A love Lopez's holistic hair specialist shared some personal photos with the late reality star alongside a heartfelt message. I'm so heartbroken. Not a friend, but a big sister. An icon and leader and true boss. Jamie Lopez has transcended to the spirit world. The legacy she has built and brought my other sisters together for a bigger purpose. Baby doll beauty couture will forever live on. A love captioned the snaps. I'm really lost for words. I appreciate all the calls, texts, and messages. Forgive me for not answering. Give me some time, please. I love you all. Long live a real-life baby doll. Hairstylist and makeup artist Taj Miles shared an emotional statement as well. Hey doll, echoes in my heart. My sister, my friend, my baby. Heartbroken is an understatement, she explained. You had so much more life and love to give, Jay. Thank you for everything. Never goodbye, but I'll see you later. I love you. Watch over us dolls. In all the darkness in this world, you were light. Honored to know you. Blessed to love you and favored to call you sister. Forever your doll, Taj. Salon receptionist Astra Marie, nicknamed Funky Chunky, reacted to the laws via her Instagram story. My baby doll is gone, she wrote, alongside the initial announcement about Lopez's death. Stylist Shannon Bonds, who performs with the stage name Ms. 007, captioned a photo of Lopez, devastated bestie. Brittany BB Desire Martin, the salon's makeup and lash artist and esthetician, shared a montage of photos of Lopez set to John Mayer's Dreaming with a Broken Heart to honor her late boss. A tribute to the ultimate glam doll, she wrote. Number 1. Lopez was losing weight. On my supersized salon, Jamie openly discussed her weight. At her largest, she was bedridden and weighed over 840 pounds. She was also hospitalized for a year and had to go to undergo physical therapy to be able to walk again. Lopez's weight loss journey was motivated by her desire for her business to succeed. I'm thriving with my health journey, she said on the first episode. I'm really determined to get to the point where it's not a vanity thing at all. I want to be comfortable enough to run my business and take it to the next level and not have to depend so much on other people. It's a journey and a process and something I've been working on daily. Number 2. Lopez was a singer. Her first EP, Quindom, was released on October 7. Hey dolls, my first EP dropped today. Quindom, music, is my first love and has gotten me through some very hard times and breakups. Huge thank you to all who made this project happen. She gushed via Instagram. Number 3. Lopez worked hard. She told The Mirror in April 2019 that she had several jobs in online sales, music production, and as an Uber driver. 
This is my dream and I'm not going to give up on it. I've put my life and everything into this. Sacrifice, blood, sweat, tears, everything. Financially, it's a huge investment. But right now, I feel like it's go big or go home, she explained at the time. Number four, Lopez wrote a book. Big Fat Lies, published in November 2021, was Lopez's memoir, which detailed her struggle to accept herself and take control of her weight after becoming bedridden. In September, she was delighted to see her book on Amazon's top 100 titles. I'm literally in tears right now, Lopez wrote via Instagram at the time. I couldn't be more grateful for your support on my new book. Because of you, I've reached the Amazon top 100 list. I've now been so raw and vulnerable with you dolls. Thank you for accepting me and my truth. My goal is the hope of inspiring you dolls. Even when you're left for dead, bed bound and broken, you can rise again. I love you. Thank you. Number 5. Lopez wanted everyone to feel beautiful. It makes me cry when people say that, she told the mirror when asked about critics who claimed she was promoting unhealthy choices. If I'm going to lose weight, then I'm going to lose weight, but I will still need a place to go and get my nails done. Should I have to stop that because I'm fat? People need a safe space and I'm going to give them what they need. Supersized salon star Jamie Lopez, last words before she died. I go to seek a great perhaps.